What's up YouTube, this is Leverage. Today I want to share with you a uh, newest pickup for the stack, a 2017 10 ounce Kookaburra. Nice design on that one. Uh, I've got the 2013, 14, 15, and I don't have the 16 yet, but I'm definitely looking for it. The 10 ounce Kookaburras are real nice for really exemplifying the design of the Kookaburra coin. That's why I like those a lot. They also have a lower mintage in the normal coins that are in the one ounce denomination. I also picked up a couple of the two ounce roosters. Uh, if you notice recently, the two ounce monkey has appreciated slightly. The mintage on the two ounce was lower than expected and lower than the uh, comparable years prior of the other lunar releases. That's a little unexpected, but um, that'll certainly appreciate in value. So I gotta make sure I pick up more two ounces. Definitely worth the value. So that's what I'm stacking right now. A lot of birds. A lot of birds. Gonna have a whole nest full. So I'll be looking, uh, looking for a 2016. Be coming back to you soon with it when I find a good price. And that's what I've been stacking so far. The only thing I got, picked up a new knife. This is a Kershaw. I usually unbox with a Kershaw anyway. This one is a Brawler. It does have the same um, speed assist open. It also has a flipper, liner lock on there. It's a decent knife. Not my EDC, my other ones are my EDC. <clears throat> usually carry a uh, Ken Onion Leak which is a sleeker design, or there's also the cryo, which is the design I normally use. But they, uh, Kershaw's a, definitely a good blade, not sponsored by them at all, but they make some good knives. All right, this has been Leverage. Hope you enjoyed. I'm out. Peace.